Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. INS Sandhya Sandhya Act as commissioned. So the news is related to the recent commissioning of INS Sandhya Act by Defence Minister at Vaisak. So the news is related to and the prelims current events of national and as well as international importance. Similarly, and remains the news has been related with GS Paper Three Science and Technology through a subtopic called Achievements of Indians in Science and Technology, Indigenization of Technology, and Developing New Technology. So this is how the news has been related with examination. Let's look into the details of the news. So as I said, recently INS Sandhya has been commissioned at Naval Dockyard in which is in Vishakhapatnam, and it is first of the four vessel large ship being built. and its primary purpose is to do the hydrographic surveys so this is what the details of the news is about let's look into what is this ins sandhya act is about it was constructed at garden research ship builders and engineers which which is prof, uh, present in west bengal that is in kolkata primary purpose of this ship is to do the hydrographic survey at the coastal as well as the deep water region for the port as well as harbor activities and it its purpose is also also to provide navigational channel as well as routes and its operational zone extends up to the maritime limits which is up to exclusive economic zone and extends up to the extended continental shelf so this is what the primary purpose of the ship is about and its secondary purpose is to act as hospital are the mobilizing activities or the mobilizing center during the war time or any other emergency situation and it is equipped with the latest cutting edge technologies like hydrographic tools data acquisition and processing tools an autonomous underwater vehicle and remotely operated vehicle and then dgps and then the digital sight scan sonar so this is how these are all the latest a cutting edge technology being equipped under the ship and it is been provided by two diesel engines and it has the capacity to reach up to 18 knots and it was reincarnated reincarnated from the previously decommissioned sandhya from this only this new ins sandhya has been uh, commissioned and the previously uh, decommissioned sandhya was happened during 2021 So this is what the details are uh, uh, related to the INS Sandhya Act is about. Let's look into what are all the areas which we needed to be further aware of. We should be aware of what is Project Seventy Five, what is Project Fifteen, and then Joint Military Exercise, which has been conducted by India in the recent times for the past one years, and what are all the ships or the equipments being involved in the bilateral as well as multilateral exercise. so these are all the things which we needed to be further aware of and with this we have reached the end of this stop